Hello everybody, this is Social Science Unit 4 and we are going to talk about jobs and we are going to classify jobs in three different groups. Let's begin. The first group is going to be people who work in nature and all the jobs related to those people. And we have studied five jobs. In English, they are divided in four, but in Spanish, we classify them in five. The first one, farmers. In Spanish, we have two types of farmers, agricultores y ganaderos. But in English, all of them are called farmers. Then we have miners. Then we have fishermen. And then we have lumberjacks. Those are the four jobs that we have studied in group number one. Look at the words that we have at the top of the activity. We have animals, wood, fish, minerals, and crops. Remember, we are talking about group one, people who extract things from nature. Let's complete. Some farmers raise animals or crops. Something in Spanish. Acordaros. Los que eh, crían ganado son ganaderos. Los que, cría, los que cultivan la tierra, agricultores. In English, all of them are farmers. So farmers raise animals and, or crops. In English, you can also say uh, the farmers that raise animals, you can call them livestock farmers. And the farmers that raise crops, you can call them crop farmers. So there are also two words. But we, have all, we are only going to study farmers in general. Then we have miners dig mineral from the ground. Fisher catch fish from the sea. Lumberjacks get, what do they get? Wood from forests. Remember that a lumberjack cannot cut everywhere. No, they, there are places where they can cut the wood and places where they can't. Okay, let's do another activity about group number one. People who extract things from nature. Let's go. Let's do a little listening and remember we are doing group one. In which area of nature do these people work? In my job, I cut down trees. I cut trees on lumberjack. In my I job, I catch fish. In my job, I raise animals. So, in which area of nature do they work? Forestry, he cuts down tree, fishing, he goes, uh, she goes fishing and he plants. So this is agriculture. Finishing with group number one, we have a little listening about farming, mining, and fishing. Listen and then remember, listen, stop and repeat. Farming, mining, fishing, and forestry are types of jobs that get materials from nature. Let's go to group number two. People who make things. We have a listening activity we have three people in this group, or three types of jobs. Uh, remember we did 
people factory worker, so people who work in a factory, potter, and we also said that we could say any type of artisan is in this second group, and also builders. Listen, and let's do the activity following the color code. Blue for factory worker, yellow for potter, and red for builder. I am a potter. I make clay pots by hand. I am a builder. I use my hands to make buildings with bricks. I am a builder. I am a factory worker. I make computers in a factory. I made a mistake here because uh, this is a builder which is color red. Red, not blue. Okay, so she's, she says she's a potter. Uh, she makes pot, pottery. Uh, he is a builder and she is a factory worker. And those are the three jobs that we have studied in group two. Let's do another activity from the review pages. In this page, we have the three types of jobs that we have studied in group two. We have a potter. He is a potter. He is making a pot. She is a builder. She is making a wall. And now here we are going to circle the pictures that we see from a factory. Which of, the, of these uh, pictures have been taken in a factory? Is this a factory? Yes, it's a shoe factory. Is this a factory? No. Is this a factory? Yes. Is this a factory? No. This is a craft. It's making something. It's an artisan that is making a book. Is this a factory? No. This is a little bakery. Is this a factory for making uh, magazines? Yes. So we have three factories and three artisans. Both of them are from group two. People who make things. Let's listen the little summary. Some people make things in factories with big machines. Other people make things by hand in small workshops. People also construct big things such as buildings. Remember, listen, pause and repeat. Let's go to group number three. Group number three is the biggest one. It's called the service group. What is a service? A service is giving or doing something for other people. And in this category or in this group three, we have a lot of jobs. In group number three, we have different subcategories that we are going to study. Let's go. These categories are mainly transportation. So everybody who works in transportation is in group three. Education. So everybody working in schools, uh, universities and institutos, they are group three. Category three, tourism, so people working in hotels or in a tourist office or tourist guides, they are also group three. And we also said that we have health, so everybody working in a hospital or in a health center is group three. We also have business. Business is a difficult word for you, it's negocios. So people working in a bank, people investing your money, that's group three. And another category is art. So all artists are in group three. Let's see in which service do these people work. She works in transportation, education or tourism. Education.
This is a bus driver, so he works in transportation. And the last one. Uh, she uh, is in a hotel, in the reception of a hotel, so she works in tourism. More examples, more activities about this sector. Number one. I help tourists. I'm their guide. Pointing left and pointing right. A, a tourist guide. Number one. I bring drinks and food you want. I bring drinks and food. I work as a server in a restaurant. I work as a server in a restaurant. I drive a lorry here and there. <laughs> taking products. Everywhere. I drive a lorry here and there taking products everywhere. I report the news we see. I'm the presenter in the view on TV. I'm a presenter on TV. Let's see some more examples of group number three. We have police officer. We have a dentist. We have a hairdresser. That's group number three. They give a service, so they provide a service. A shopkeeper, a musician, she's an artist, and lawyer. Lawyer, remember we said is abogado. Let's listen to the little summary of this group. Many people have jobs that help other people. Some of these jobs give services in transportation, education, tourism, medicine, safety, or business. Safety, remember, is police, police um, officer, firefighter, guardia civil, um, people who work in the army, what we call militares, all those people, they give will provide a service that is called safety. One of the groups that works for our safety are the firefighters. Let's see if, do you think the firefighter work, work as a team? Do they work together? True or false? True, they work as a team. They have to work as a team. Firefighters have, have an easy job. No, they have a difficult job. Firefighters only work in the city. No, firefighters work in the city, in the town and in the village. Women and men can be firefighters, true. Women could be firefighters if they are healthy enough and men could be firefighters if they are healthy enough. Because you need to have, a, a, you need to be strong and healthy to be a firefighter. Who provides a service? So who is from group number three? We have a, what is this? A waiter. Yes, he provides a service. A flight attendant. She provides a, a service. Or you can also say air hostess. She is a farmer. No, she is from group number one. She extracts things from nature. A pilot? Yes, group three. A doctor? Group three. And a builder? Group two. So they don't provide a service. They make or build things. Unless... Uh, watch the little summary of the unit and we finish. Let's watch the video for the unit review. Some people work in nature. Farmers, miners, fishers and woodcutters 
get raw materials from nature. With these raw materials, other people make things in factories with big machines or with their hands in small workshops. They also build very big things, such as buildings. There are also many people who provide services, such as bus drivers, teachers, doctors, policemen, tour guides and business people. And this is the end of Social Science Unit 4, Year 2. Bye-bye!